This is a classic Pepsi Max Big One carriage from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and it's in my garden. But what am I gonna do with it? How have I got it? Why have I got it? And what's the plans for it? Well, all of that's gonna be covered in today's video here on Pleasure Beach Experience, while sat in my garden. I'm a little bit lost for words, really, because I never thought I'd get one of these, but back in November, me and Becca were doing one of our closed season updates for Pleasure Beach Experience, walking around Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and we saw that two of the old big one carriages were out in the yard, and we were thinking, oh, I hope they're not gonna scrap those. So we messaged a couple of friends at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and said, well, what are you gonna do with those old big one carriages that have appeared in the car park? And they were like, well, we're probably gonna get rid of them. So we asked if they were originals, asked if they were for sale, asked if there was any chance that we could buy them and how much they'd be sold for. And it took a little bit of a while speaking to retail at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. We were quoted a couple of different prices, but in the end, we managed to get it purchased. And I'll talk about the pricing, the process of getting it home and everything else that comes with that, all in this video as the video goes on. But yeah, it's a little bit surreal to have one of these in the garden. I actually first saw this at Blackpool Pleasure Beach in November 2012 in the scrapyard. And we were thinking, oh, that's, that's gonna get binned off. And we were, we were all hoping we could buy it back then. And there's actually pictures of me stood next to this in Blackpool Pleasure Beach 10 years ago and now here it is in the garden. So yeah, it's been an interesting journey to getting this home, but here it is. And we are gonna restore a little bit of it, but we're also gonna leave some of it original as well. So we're just gonna go cover all of that over either this video or a video series. I'm not entirely sure yet how we'll do it. It depends how much work we actually do on it, but this is part one. It might be the only part, there might be two or three parts. I'm not actually sure. But yeah, it's just great to have it and see where it goes really. Sticks. Fifty-five. Seventy-five. One hundred. One hundred and one. The most obvious thing for me to do at this point is go a little bit freehand with the filming and show you the condition of this classic big one carriage and one of my son's pirate ships because I forgot to move that out of frame. Shows how much we are not scripted on this channel. Anyway, let's start with the seat belts. So you can tell how old these seat belts are straight away. This is something that will definitely be getting restored we will, we will be keeping the seat belts, but we are going to take them out. And my dad, who will be introduced in this video or video series at some point, is well, he's already told us that he can sort this out. So he's going to fix those up at some point. Now, if you've been on the big one, I'm sure that you will recognize the seats, which are kept in with Velcro. But just for reference, when you go on it, you're not kept in by Velcro. There isn't many seat backs left in this train or carriage. It's not a train, clearly. So that's one of the seat backs. And actually, it's quite funny. It's covered in sand. Because, of course, I'm sure if you're aware, and if you've been on the big one or waited for the big one in the station, Big one is often loaded with sandbags, which is probably why there's a lot of sand in this train from over time. Because I think these silver carriages were still being used before they changed to the green uh, sandbags that they have now when they used to have the big blue sandbags, which I think were a lot heavier, but having never worked on the big one, I'm not 100% sure on that. Anyway, it's come out of row one. Although technically that will never have been row one because it's not a front carriage, so that could have been row four. Anyway, moving on. So we've got more, another seat, more sand. Lots of sand and bits and bobs and stuff that needs cleaned. Of course, I'm gonna clean it at some point. Again, you can really see how old this actually is when you see the rust and stuff on the seat belts and I would imagine this will have been taken off of the big one and out of service in November 2010 
because the big one's train livery changed in 2011 to the Union Jack trains that it currently has now. Some of the carriages like these were kept and rebranded to the Union Jack, whereas some of them, like this one, weren't. Now there's a bit of a mining Becker's stuff in here from when we've been messing about with this already. We have actually already put train lights in it, but we've taken them back out because we severed them by accident when we moved this. So there will be train lights going in it at some point, or strip lights. But again, seat belts, sand. They are definitely staying in. You may have noticed so far that there is no grab rails on this carriage. They've been taken off and my dad was very eager to get started with restoring bits of this so he's already started doing that. We'll head round there at some point and get some shots of him working on it if he's not already finished it. So if anyone from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, most notably retail, is watching, how much for some of these guys because I'd quite like to fill the train with them. And uh, as well, funnily enough, this is actually a seat off the Revolution, not the big one. Because as you can see here, it doesn't actually fit in. Whereas these ones fit quite snugly. Look at the sand in there. So yeah, that is the condition of inside. I'm sure many of you will remember the classic big one pink job. The per the pink, not purple, is it pink, purple? I'll let you guys decide in the comments. But yeah, those stripes used to be red at the bottom as well. But there is also photos from the early 90s of them being this sort of pinky purple colour. So that one's open to debate, but there was definitely a red stripe on the trains as well. This side of the train carriage is definitely less battered than the other side. And down here is where the strip lights used to go which we will be putting some of those back in. Definitely, Beck has already started looking into that. Again, if anyone from Pleasure Beach is watching and you've got some of those spare, we'd gladly uh, take those off your hands if you don't need them anymore. Like I say, we're not expecting freebies here. We'd quite happily pay for some of the stuff that we need to get the seats and the train lights back on it. Mentioned about a bit of damage on this side of the train being battered. As you can see, it's very well scuffed. So for now, I think that pretty much wraps up a look at the state of this big one or Pepsi Max big one carriage. And it's time to start working on it and seeing what we can do with it really. I think the exterior of it is definitely gonna stay pretty much as it is because that paint job is just iconic to Blackpool. Might do one of the sides with a red stripe and if it is going to be any side it'll be this side which is a lot more battered than the other side but yeah there we go first look at the retired pepsi max big one carriage 136 172 189 200, 213, 235. Since filming the intro to this video, the weather has been nothing short of rubbish in the north. We've had rain, snow, sleet, hail, all sorts of bad weather. And today is one of the first days since that the weather's been all right. So I'm gonna do a little bit of an update on the, the big one car in the garden. So of course you've seen by this point in the video that we have jet washed it in places. 
which has made a significant improvement on getting what was just filled with sand in here. There's still bits of sand and obviously this old Velcro is going to be getting binned because we've bought some new Velcro to help keep the, the seats in place. So that's good. But all of this is just it's rubbish. It's so old now that it just isn't keeping anything in place. But more importantly, jet washing it and wiping down the seats has made a massive difference. Of course, I'm filming this handheld, so will be shaky in places. Another example of the jet washing is that this seat in particular was covered in sand and so was this one actually but it's massively improved now. Like I say the weather's not been great so we've not really done a lot else with it yet to be honest. It's the first sunny day we've had where I can actually come out and film it again for a while. But another example of so what we are going to do is we are going to paint all of the inside blue in this same sort of light blue colour. But first we're going to replace the handrails, the ones that we have got from Pleasure Beach, they're being restored. We are going to get some new ones made or see if Pleasure Beach have got any knocking about that they don't need. And yeah, that's where we're up to. To be honest... We've stalled with the progress with it a little bit, not just because of the weather, but just in general, we've had so much going on. Me and Becca have been doing, doing some work away from Pleasure Beach Experience, and there's just been a lot going on in our lives, really, that the, the big one retro car has been put on the back burner for a little while. But there will be more episodes on the channel once we start working on it again, and I would imagine that'll be sometime towards the end of April, maybe May. But of course, having bought it, we're not going to give up on it. We've just, things have got really busy. But more videos to come soon. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. And yeah, keep an eye out for progress on social media and of course on Pleasure Beach Experience YouTube. So that's all for now. Many thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.